Hi, I'm Dr. James Giordano, 2018 O'Malley Visiting Chair in Bioethics here at Loyola Marymount University and Professor in the Departments of Neurology and Biochemistry and Chief of the Neuroethics Studies Program at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. I've been a brain scientist for over three decades, and it's a wonderful field in that it's advancing ever more rapidly and ever more broadly. New developments and international agendas in the brain sciences are pumping monies into the enterprise to be able to find new ways to assess and to treat neurological and psychiatric disorders and probe what was previously considered to be the mysteries of the mind, more like a puzzle to be solved rather than just a mystery to ponder. But you know, more and more the brain sciences are not simply remaining within those silos of academia or the labyrinthine laboratories of science and even commercial enterprise, not at all. We're looking to translate the brain sciences into ways that have meaning and value, not only in medicine in such fields as neurology, neurosurgery, psychiatry, pain management, geriatrics, pediatrics, and neonatology. Understanding the brain, understanding the brain in both health and sickness becomes important for us to relieve the human predicament of illness, disease, suffering, and pain. But ever more, it's going from the laboratory bench to the bedside and beyond, into the public sphere. And in that way, neuroscience develops for us meanings about what is normal and abnormal, functional, dysfunctional, and we use those meanings in our daily lives, in the way we treat others, the way we regard others, the way we regard ourselves. What constitutes a treatment for a disorder? What constitutes an optimization or an enhancement? How far should we go and what should we do with it? And it's not just a question of the way that neuroscience will touch individuals in their professional lives in the sciences, social sciences, humanities, law, the arts, Yes, these are all each important in their separate ways and taken together. But more than that, as we move into the 21st century, our personal lives will be ever more touched by not just the meanings of brain science, but also the tools of brain science in public life, in politics, in economics, and in the military. Understanding what the brain sciences can offer, understanding what the brain sciences mean, understanding the benefits, the burdens, and some of the risks become ever more important for us as not just informed scientists, but as concerned citizens. Because indeed, the brain sciences give us tremendous capability and knowledge, and with knowledge comes great power, and with power comes responsibility. Not just for us, the scientists, not just for those of us who engage the brain sciences, but perhaps ever more for all. If you'd like to learn more about what the brain sciences are capable of doing, perhaps of building better brains, different brains, in ways that incur benefits and perhaps burdens as well, I'd like you to come to the O'Malley Lecture. That's on March 20th here at Loyola Marymount University. And we'll talk not only about brain sciences and its cutting edge, but also the ethical, legal, and social issues that it spawns, and the obligations and responsibilities that it generates. I hope to see you there.